Now the condition when I use roots or they are also called radicals and that's obviously square root or cube root or things like that they are called radicals the condition there is that the input the value that's inside there of an even radical in other words that um, little exponent there if you might the radical index that radical if it's even in other words two four six eight the input of an even radical may not be less than zero in other words what's in here may not be less than zero in other words it may be zero it may equal zero and it may be greater than zero but the input must be greater or equal to zero so for example if I look at let's say the square root I have fx is equal to the square root of x then for my domain x the input is just x must be bigger or equal to zero uh, very easy one okay let's look at another example how about if I have fx and as an input I actually have x minus 7 x minus 7 in this case I see that x minus 7 must be bigger or equal to 0 the input must be bigger or equal to 0 that gives me that x I add a 7 on both sides to solve x x must be larger or equal to 7 and that makes sense if I have x and I subtract something from it whatever I subtract the answer must still be bigger than 0 okay uh, and that will be true if that's a 2 or a 4 or a 6 it doesn't matter as long as it's even this one I could have said but x is an element of real numbers but x must be bigger than 0 let's write this specific one in uh, set notation it's x is an element of real numbers given that in other words now follows the condition that x is larger or equal to 7 okay can be any real number given that it is larger or equal to 7 okay next one let's look at a function like this let's say we have the radical uh, and let's shake it up with a 4 there x minus or plus 2 and outside we have a plus 9 for example now in this case remember just the input is important only x plus 2 the input of the rabbit radical what's underneath must be greater or equal to 0 okay the 9 does not influence that at all again we must get x on its own so we subtract it 2 on both sides so we find that x is greater or equal to negative 2 okay that means x is any real number the way we can write it when we have real numbers we may write it also in bracket notation so we say that x is an element and what I'm actually trying to do is making the number line we have negative 2 from 0 x must be greater or equal to so it includes 2 and greater than so x is an element greater than 2 means my bottom limit is 2 it may equal that's why I use the block bracket okay negative 2 and now what is my upper limit well it goes on to infinity it doesn't have an upper limit so it goes up to infinity and I close with a round bracket